Hello guys, how are you? My name is Giovanna Guido, I'm a Brazilian nutritionist and I'm here today to talk about some low carb diet myths. So a lot of people tell lies around this kind of diet and I'm here today, I pick up four lies that I always listen to explain you better and tell you that it's not exactly like they say, okay? So first, lie. I will just eat eggs, bacon and fatty meats if I do low carb diet. It's a lie, okay? The base of low carb diet are the vegetables, the green leaves, okay? So if you don't like bacon, if you don't like fatty meats, you don't need to eat this. I don't eat this. Eggs I like, but bacon I almost never eat because I don't like much, and fatty meats just really, really rare, but I don't like it neither. So don't worry. If you don't like those things, you have a lot of other options to put into your low-carb diet, okay? Second myth, I feel weak, tired, and without energy. It's a lie too, once you adapt it. So in the beginning, when you start cutting the carbs, it's really normal because you are changing your metabolism. So it's normal that your body will complain a little bit, right? Because our body, it loves carbohydrates because it's a fast way to give energy. So once you reduce, the body starts complaining because it needs to work harder to go into our fat storage to burn it into energy, okay? But don't worry, once you adapt it and once you follow a, a good meal plan, you're not gonna have this problem anymore, okay? Some people, a lot of people say that their energy levels are even better once they adapted to the low carb diet, okay? Third me, my cholesterol levels will increase because I'm eating a lot of fats. Another lie. We know already that what increases our cholesterol levels are the carbohydrates and the bad fats, like trans fat, industrialized fats. So once you reduce the carbohydrates, and once you reduce industrialized food, because low carb asks you to do that, reduce focusing natural food, you're not gonna have this problem. Unless your liver is producing too much or you have like a genetic issue that produces a lot of, lots of cholesterol. But just to follow in the low carb diet, no. Even if you eat a lot of fats, because the fats you are eating in the low carb, they are healthy, they are natural, okay? And the fourth meat. Low carb damage the brain is bad for your brain. Another line. First, because low carb is not zero carb. You're going to reduce your carbs, not totally eliminate, it's not like ketogenic diet. Okay? And second, our liver produces carbs, produce uh, glucose. So if you need that glucose and you don't have through your diet, your liver is gonna take care of it. You just need to take care of your liver. <laughs> Once your liver is healthy and just in case you need the glucose, the liver is gonna produce and you're gonna be fine, okay? So I hope you like this video. I hope that this video helped you to understand some stuff and to not be afraid of low carb diet because it's very healthy. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Leave me a thumbs up. And I see you soon. Bye-bye.